Uh, hello? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return to my flock. They'll stray without me. <sighs> Remember, certain scowls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. <laughs> are you such a tease? <laughs> and she's like... Ah, this man is so cute! You are so clueless! <laughs> By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Patience, good fellows, I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William... I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. I don't think so. He seemed fairly different. Uh, but this okay. poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire? I must find a... Blood. I think I didn't like press tab in time, so it's somewhere in there. That's okay. Ooh! More useful things. Maybe we can craft something. I can all have them good games. It's locked, all right. Okay. Shush. Anything that I'm missing? I think we can go. I have such a 21st century haircut though. Shaved everywhere but the top. Headed. We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What... Who is she? What woman? Oh, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were gentlemen. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her <laughs> back. But I will tell you, she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End, and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. A surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. 
You are correct, sir. I knew it! I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed, marvelous. So happy to have found you dead. <laughs> have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <laughs> word again from a so-called man of science i understand traditionally the role of science is to refute myth but when myth walks among us the brotherhood of saint paul has dedicated its purpose to their study there's so much for you to learn of that you are right could i have a new t-shirt yet well then let me be blunt join my staff at pembroke hospital as a physician I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, I killed alas, my sister. Before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. Oh, a shirt! So, what do you say? Y yes to the shirt? Yes it to seems the I shirt. Have choice. Yes you to the shirt! Offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Yay, new clothes! This is one for the book and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Where was I going? <laughs> like, oh no, we're leaving the camera, must walk towards it. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness, I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. If he asks for blood, give him some. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. <laughs> that is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. He is losing his, uh... He is mutating. Oh! I haven't noticed. Does he? Oh, I love the coats so much. Oh, I love big coats. <gasps> the thing is, I also have like some pre-order items, so technically there's like another set of clothes somewhere, but let's not worry about that. This coat, <laughs> this coat is awesome. Hello. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Okay, how do I get past you? Don't I suppose? What? It's not oh. Ah! Each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Oh my! 
Why? Uh, my vision. Come on, you bastard! I won't buy it. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Uh, <laughs> oh, what a doctor I am! These are my choices. Uh... Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was, I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me <laughs> to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist oh, follow! you in a better place. The person whose goods are spilling out Follow. Okay. I don't wanna. That is fucking horrible. With him, the dance of life and death. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Across <laughs> his face. I'm sorry about that. Ah, uh, the hospital. You do that. Okay. Um. You have fun dying there. I am going to the hospital. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Rats. Do we see any rats? Rats are a good snack! Oh, hello, hospital. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide-and-seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke <laughs> Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. Yeah, I'm the lowly nurse! You're listening to me! Uh, questions. I would like to ask a few questions first. How is Mr. And Hampton? Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. Thank you, Nurse Craig. I was just told who my room, where my room is, and it would be really awkward to ask about the person who I just arrived with. You know, that's it's fairly interesting. <laughs> what <is this>? Sorry. <laughs> Doctor Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. This is one big hospital! Hmm. Can I steal anybody's shillings? Like I've been doing for quite a while! Ooh! 
just go back home! Oh, wow, what a hospital! Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. May I help you? I don't know if a third opinion is needed. Your colleagues are already arguing about my condition. I see. Would you mind telling me more about your situation? I'm Harvey Fiddick. All I want is to get me bloody arm fixed properly. Uh, your life in London? So how is your life, eh? Uh, doctors are Tell good? Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Who are you? Tell me about yourself, Mr. Fiddick. I'm just a regular guy waiting to get his arm fixed, so I can return to work and to my family. I was more curious about what you were doing before being hospitalized. I'm a carpenter, and a good one, too. But that means I need both arms to feed my family, Dr. Reed. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Who, me? Am I your boy? Ooh. I was like, he's, he's alone. And then there you turn around and there's a lady. I should at least pretend that I'm doing the doctor work, so maybe I should talk with that guy. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need Why any help. Why should I ask them What's personal with me? questions? Do you know what happened? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. said F. Press for details. Nodding at me. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Maybe I should talk to her, son? Then again, maybe I should find my office and stop wasting time talking with people that I'm not planning to help, apparently. Uh, where's the second floor? 